Hey everyone, I'm Sam Madhu. Um, I'm okay. I'm gonna start again. I just totally forgot what I was saying. I'm Hey everyone, this is Sam Madhu. Um, I'm here with Andrea from Nifty Gateway and we're gonna do this fun little video. Th this first question was really difficult. Actually, I read it and I was like, geez, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know. Okay, something my collectors don't know about me. I don't know if I should actually share this, but in the NFT space, you know, there's some days I wake up and I know exactly what I'm doing. And then there's other days I wake up and I have no idea what I'm doing. And every everything I thought I knew I was doing, I'm just like, that, I don't know if that's right. But I just feel like that's the exciting thing about being in a new space like this is that it's just like uncharted territory. So like all these decisions that you make, it's it can be it's a risk or a reward but it's but it's very much it, it kind of teaches you a lot about yourself because it teaches you like how far you can even push your own mind you know to like conceptualize a drop for example i don't know i don't know i have so many favorites <laughs> okay okay um my favorite emoji okay so i love I uh, identify with that, you know? It's like, thank you so much. I like 100, keeping it 100. And then I like, um, I like the crying face because I'm a very emotional person. So I'm always like, ah! <laughs> you know? So I like that. And I like, um, oh, my favorite emoji of all time is the red sweating face where it's like, <sighs> I just use it for everything. It's like, it's like, that's hot. You know, I just use it for everything, so that's my favorite right now. So, um, you know, I think I well, I just moved to Berlin five months ago, but um, sometime in April, I think I was just on Clubhouse and um, like Peggy Gooch, the, she's this DJ from Korea who's based in Berlin, and I I love her and I love her music. She um. She was doing a clubhouse and and she liked my um and I went to the session and she liked my avatar so she pulled me on stage and it was like ah! I was just like oh my god like I it, it was I, I usually don't fangirl like that I mean that's not true oh my god Peggy I'm an artist one day I'm gonna work with you I know it I can feel it and she was like uh okay she was like what the hell I was just like no no she thinks I'm weird. <laughs> But I think in that moment when I was like talking to her and like actually talking to her voice, like it, it was definitely a huge trip for me. And, uh, you know, like she also is one of the people who inspired me to move to Berlin. So like actually being here and then being on Clubhouse with her was like, wow, that was a trip. You know, lately I've been very stressed in my life and um, well, I've been receiving this advice from like, you know, my, my parents and my friends and everyone. It's it's just that like literally like, I, oh, okay, man, a, a little bit of background information. Like through my life, I've used stress as a coping mechanism to like get work done. It's like, okay, if I'm stressed, my art is going to be amazing. If I'm stressed, I'm going to get this. Like, you know, I, I've just used it as a way to like, to like uh, get myself on track. And lately it's come to a point where I'm so exhausted of being stressed that um i'm realizing like with advice from my family and friends is that like you can't really there's only so much uh th that stress can get you and and after that you have to be calm and be confident and be sure of yourself and just go for what you want because because stress is like it's just it's not a healthy way to to get ahead in what you want so I think lately that's the best advice I've been getting from all my friends is just like be calm, don't stress, just like own your shit and go go forth. I love dumplings like pot stickers. Um, you know, I love to just go to the Asian supermarket and buy like a huge bag of frozen dumplings and then you know you need a midnight snack, you're like doop, 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 doop. you just put them in the pan, like oh I love that. 
Um, I love to eat ice cream as well. Like I know I'm basic, but I love chocolate ice cream. It's my my go-to. Like a huge tub of chocolate ice cream in the middle of the night, and and pistachio ice cream. But yes, dumpling and ice creams. That is my. That is what I live by. Um, I drink coffee honestly. Like when I caffeine for me like makes me a crazy woman, and I'm already like a crazy person. Like just without anything so it just makes me like and i just play like really fast paced music and i'm like like making all this crazy 3d stuff happen so it's it's really funny actually i i feel like there needs to be a video montage of me like in my sweatpants like just like making <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> it's like 3d stuff like that's actually how i look when, when i walk so <laughs> Andrea, of course. I was really when I tweeted that. Like, Andrea's the best. <laughs> okay, so basically, I grew up in India, and um, you know, all over Asia, there are these like demon faces scattered like all over the cities and towns and villages. And each Asian country actually has different interpretations of these demons. And I just. I just, you know, so I grew up with these demons, like, um, on people's cars, like, on construction sites, like, just random, um, you know, demon faces everywhere, and that really, like, I think that's something that was stamped into my childhood, and then, yeah, I wanted, I, I like to take these things that I grew up with and then, like, reinterpret them in a, in a really modern way, um, so that's why with this collection, I kind of did all these like demon faces and some of them come from Indonesia, some of them come from Japan, like, um, because, you know, it's the same uh, story that's been told in a different way all over the world. So that I, I just wanted to like take a piece of that from, from all these like places and make it something really like underground and dark and like urban inspired by like these huge cities that I live in. So. Yeah, it was like, it's about taking something traditional and old and like, you know, like has that demonic vibe to it and, and then making it this new, like sexy underground city thing, which is what I'm trying to do. I grew up with these like demons, you know, and I just want to bring these demons into like the lives that we're all living now. And like, that that's what, that's what the work is about. It's about how like we all have two faces. You know, when we all have like a darkness and that, that's kind of what I wanted to show with this. Like even that rave I went to in Ukraine this weekend, like I'm not even kidding. I was in this rave and the, the light was red and there was smoke and I felt like I was in a rave in hell. Everyone just looked like a demon to me and that's kind of what the collection is about. It's, it's like we all have this darkness and yeah. And I just wanted to, I, it's just about a city where like, like, it's called a city with no people, but it's also like, you know, there are people. It's just that they're not people. Okay, guys. So I think that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. So if you want a chance to win one of the keys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. These questions are heavy hitters. <laughs> okay, I almost got it. I almost got it. Ooh, let me just let me just start. Ah, uh, let me just start. A lot of these men are like. Oh, I'm an NFT artist, NFTs, bro. And I'm just like, girl, make fun of yourself, you know? Like, it's not that serious. <laughs> God, I'm like laughing. Okay, next time we should take a shot before we do this. It's